The fat man syndrome. This is a dangerous disease that some of us suffer with. This disease can be absolutely fatal for your business, for your career and even your life. In this video, I'm going to uncover how you can know whether you are suffering from this disease and what are the remedies that you need to adopt to come out of it. Keep watching. Welcome back champions. My name is Hardik and I am your management consultant. I make videos to help your business grow. If you think that what I say makes sense and a conversation with me can help you troubleshoot some of your business challenges, then all you need to do is go on to my website, scroll a little down, select the relevant section where you have problems, answer a few questions and you will be able to book a free one-on-one -on -one conversation call with me. If you want to know how these coaching calls, these one-on-one -on -one conversation calls happen, then you will get a, get to see a link in the description box and it will, if you're watching this on YouTube, you will also see somewhere here. Coming back to the fat man syndrome. So imagine a friend, okay, and I'm not into body shaming here, but imagine a friend who's ridiculously fat who always consumes junk food, who uh, loves his cigarettes during his break and cannot live without alcohol. Now this guy walks up to you and says, hey friend, you know what? I'm feeling very lethargic. I don't feel energetic. I feel very lazy. And I think overall I'm feeling kind of sick. What do you think I should do? What will your answer be? Well, I know all of us will have a same answer reduce weight, eat healthy, don't smoke, reduce or eliminate alcohol from your life. But do you think all of these things the fat man does not know? Of course he does. But guess what? He's not taking any action. So if you are facing the similar thing in your life, you know what the problem is. You also know what the solution is. But guess what? You are not taking actions then my friend you are suffering from the fat man syndrome now hold on i just don't want to tell you that this is what is happening i also want to give you the remedy to cure yourself from this fat man syndrome so there are broadly three things which leads to inaction two out of which are you can treat and the third one you got to patiently wait what are these three things number one it's too complicated to go about implementing the solution. So you know the solution, but you find it too complicated. Now, everything that is complicated in life, my friend, you've got to break it down into smaller chunks. So if it is about implementing ERP, or if it is about uh, doing market research to figure out which new market you can go into, when you look at the whole thing, you will get scared. It will look complicated. It's like driving the car, right? When you learn it for the first time, you find handling the steering wheel, the rear view mirror, the brake and the clutch and everything is so complicated. But it's only when you start doing one thing at a time, you're not going to look at the rear view mirror when you start driving. You're only going to concentrate on the road and try and keep the vehicle straight. You're probably not even going to change the gears. It's only when you know how to go about driving straight is when you will move to the next step and learn how to change gears. It's only then will you learn, okay, you got to look at the rear view mirror and go on the right or go on the left. Then you learn how to take reverse. So you take one step at a time and this complicated scenario becomes very easy. When you have to climb Mount Everest, you don't have to look at the top. You only have to look at 100 feet forward, take that 100 feet, plan another hundred, plan another hundred, plan another hundred, keep achieving that. So plan smaller goals and go about achieving. If you feel it's still very, very complicated, hire a professional to do it for you. So if you're doing recruitment, hire a professional recruiter. If you want to do softwares, hire a professional coder. If you want to improve your processes, hire a professional consultant. You can work with us. And if you want to know how we can help, you know the drill. Go on to my website, schedule a call with me, 
and I will do a free consultation call with you. If you think we can work, we will work. Otherwise, we'll drop it. But don't not action because if you don't action, you are going to continue to remain a fat man, a man with a problem that you've recognized and you also know the solution, but you're going to live with that. The second reason why most people are not able to action what they already know is because there is a lot of fear of what if it does not work. Okay. Now let's understand where fear really comes from. Fear comes from unawareness. See, when it is the when the room is dark, we all feel fearful. Why? Because we can't see anything, and the chances are we may stumble upon something, we may end up hurting ourselves. We are very, very fearful in the case of pandemic because we don't know what is going to happen. So unawareness and not being fully uh, intelligent about what's going to come, that creates uncertainty. So now if you feel that, oh, you know, what if this does not work? If that's the question in your head, then you need to be educating yourself. Try and figure out more about that solution. Try and read case studies of how that solution helped somebody. You don't want to read something that says, okay, you know, doing this did not help this person. Google is funny, you know, whatever you search, you will get it. So if you read how these things don't work, if you search for that, you will get articles on how these things don't work and that will not let you move any further. What you really need to know is read about how to get these things to work. And when you read case studies, you will understand the nuts and bolts of how to go about implementing. When you, when you know more about that subject, the fear kind of goes away. See, it's when I don't know how to handle a hot vessel which is on the gas while things are cooking, I will have the fear. And if I know how to handle it and I have seen somebody handle it well, then the fear is gone. I can action it. So when you're, you're in fear, go learn more. You can read it. You can talk to people and you can talk to people who have done it and then eliminate that fear. So these are the two ways in which you can handle the first two problems. The third problem, and if there is there is any trainer, coaches, consultants, service providers, uh, product providers that are here, this is all for you too. Lack of motivation. You know, a lot of people say, hey, why do I need to learn more to get my fear off? Why do I need to take one step at a time? Because I can stay with this problem. That's lack of motivation. Now, don't get me wrong. All problems are not worth solving. If you're satisfied with what your current status is and you are not fearful of what will happen if you don't correct things, then it's okay. You've got to wait until the right time comes. All solutions are right when their time has come. So this you don't need to solve. If you don't have motivation, there is nothing that can get you motivation. If you already have motivation, then somebody can enlighten you on that and therefore you would have it. Now, why, why did I say that trainers, consultants, coaches, service providers must pay attention to this point is because if you're running behind a prospect who does not have the motivation only to do it, <laughs> no matter what you do, they are not going to go about doing that. They are not going to buy your services, no matter how good your solution is. So if you're running behind somebody like that, don't beat yourself up uh, and say, hey, you know what, I could have explained better. No, you could not have. The person just genuinely does not want to resolve the problem because he can live with it. So after listening to this video, I'm sure you know whether you are facing the fat man syndrome. You know the solution, but you're not able to implement it. And if your reasons are what they are, then you know what actions you need to take. If you are suffering from the fat man syndrome, let me know in the comment box. Tell me what is your reason for not taking actions and we will try and see how we could help you. If you like this video, hit a big fat thumbs up. Share this video with anybody who's wanting to grow in life but somehow is not able to get up from his chair and take action. It will help that person. If you've not subscribed to this video, go show your love to the red button. It absolutely encourages me to make more videos, to be more giving to all of you fine guys. Until we meet next time, keep learning, keep implementing and keep propelling.